What's going on everybody? It's just another day in the kitchen, back with another episode. And in today's video, we're taking a look at the latest Travis Scott merch, this time in support of the 10th anniversary since his mixtape, Days Before Rodeo. Now, before we get started, I want to give a special shout out to the homie Strain Beats, who's been cooking up the beats for these videos. So make sure you guys check them out. And while you're here, you might as well drop a like and subscribe and join our free Discord to stay up to date with the latest and the greatest. Shout out to all of my chefs in there. Now, it was just yesterday and 10 years ago to the day that Travis Scott, aka La Flame, would deliver his now iconic second mixtape titled Days Before Rodeo, which would go on to help cement his sound and honestly lay down the foundation for the rest of his career. And while fans have been forced to listen to this project for the last decade on other streaming platforms, it was just within the last couple of days that Travis announced at not only the most recent Fanatics Festival, but also on his Instagram itself that his now iconic project Days Before Rodeo would soon hit all streaming platforms this upcoming Friday on August 23rd. So being the big fan of La Flame that I am and of course being the YouTube merch guy, as soon as I heard that Travis would be dropping this project on streaming, I immediately thought about whether or not we would see another release for merch and to my surprise, we actually got one. So for the next portion of this video, let's go ahead and take a look at the merch that's currently available for pre-order in support of Days Before Rodeo, as well as take a look at some of his upcoming collabs we recently learned about. Now, as someone that's been a fan and rager of La Flame here for over a decade now and first got hip to him when he still had the dollar sign in his name, the fact that this project is finally coming to streaming is honestly tripping me out in the best way. And given that Trav is the king of merch as we've seen over the last couple of years, it should have really been no surprise that we'd get the following bundles in support of this now iconic album. So to start off this DBR collection, we have the following box set which features this branded hat and the slogan Drugs You Should Try It, which for those of you that don't know is actually the fourth song on the mixtape and also happens to be one of my favorite songs from this project. So if you have a favorite song yourself, let us know in the comments and also let us know what you think about this collection so far. Now, in addition to the hat itself, it looks like this bundle actually comes with the following CD, which honestly gives me throwback vibes to Utopia. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then there were several versions of the limited edition vinyl, such as this one that might have been a Target exclusive and also shares a similar red theme and branding here if you can kind of get what I'm putting down. And in keeping up with the Utopia era, as well as something other artists such as Don Tolliver and ASAP Rocky most recently have been doing, it looks like these pre-order box sets all feature some kind of special edition box that they actually come with, which is essentially being advertised as its own little collectible, so if you're into something like that, this is an opportunity to pick up a little bit more. Now as far as the next bundle, this one might actually have my attention and actually features Travis's now iconic and no longer in use No Bystanders logo, which is of course that little flaming guy there, while also celebrating the 10th year anniversary on the t-shirt itself. Now before I go any further, I do want to acknowledge that the shipping times are alleged to take between 2-3 to three weeks after the album re-release, which means you should be receiving your package within 2-3 to three weeks from this upcoming Friday. However, as we saw with the most recent Free the Rage or Mugshot tee, which was advertised to ship within one week. I don't think anyone started shipping sooner than one month since the release of the pre-order, so keep that in mind if you plan on getting these for a specific date, and don't be surprised if they take <laughs> two to three months to arrive. Now, as far as the overall Days Before Rodeo merch collection that we have before us at the moment, I feel like there's more emphasis really on collecting these special edition vinyls as there's not a whole lot of variety when it comes to the clothing, and based on on the opinions of some of my chefs in my discord, I was seeing a bit more interest in the special edition and limited vinyls than the actual merch itself, so I'd love to know in the comments if you guys ended up picking up any of these bundles, and if you prefer the actual vinyl over the clothing that's available as part of this collection. Now if you made it this far in the video, you may be feeling just a little bit underwhelmed as there wasn't a whole lot of variety when it came to this DBR collection, especially given Travis's deep merch history and even seeing the last couple of merch drops throughout the years to support his projects. 
But honestly, as someone that's been a fan of Trav since the beginning and deeply studied his merch history, I honestly feel like this collection is pretty true to the era as when he was just starting out, he was really just perfecting things and he wasn't actually dropping a whole lot with each collection. With most if not all of his early releases for example being printed on Gildan and only having the variety of maybe a couple of t-shirts, a hat, and maybe a couple of hoodies. So although he only dropped the one hat, the hoodie, and the vinyl for this collection, I feel like it really is a nod to the era and I wouldn't be surprised if he ended up dropping a whole nother wave this upcoming Friday. Now like I mentioned earlier in the video, it was just over the last couple of days we learned of some upcoming collaborations, this time seeing Travis Scott collaborate with Fanatics yet again, as Travis would post the following Cactus Jack branded trading cards on his own Instagram story just a couple of days ago, giving us our first sneak peek of an upcoming collaboration. And it was here at this most recent Fanatics fan festival that Travis would not only open some of his own packs up, but also autograph some that would eventually become available for fans to purchase. So if you guys want to open some of these packs together in a video or maybe a live stream, let me know in the comments and let's get one of these damn Cactus Jack cards together. Now, in addition to giving us our first preview of the upcoming collectible Cactus Jack trading cards, Travis Scott was also called upon by WWE legend Rey Mysterio to help him as a tag team partner, and if WWE and Cactus Jack eventually end up collaborating, I want you guys to see this tweet where I called it earlier in the year, as I think the collab is long overdue and WWE has been using Travis's song Fiend in a lot of their branding, so definitely be on the lookout and watch out for Cactus Jack off the top rope. You smell me? Now with all that being said, I honestly can't stress enough just how nostalgic and special DBR was of a project for myself even 10 years ago as I think it's really the first project you can hear Travis really find his sound on while still hearing Kanye's influence all over it. And it's pretty crazy that 10 years later he still has one of my favorite albums of the most recent years with Utopia and you can see just how far Travis has evolved not only with his music and melodies but also stylistically and even with his merch as well. And speaking of merch, it was around this DBR era and about a year after its release that Travis actually landed one of his first major collaborations in which he landed a collab with Bape. So if you guys want to learn more about that, I'll go ahead and leave the video I did in the description. And for those of you that are fiending for some more Travis related content, I'll go ahead and link my review to his Rodeo merch review at the end of this video. Now as always guys, thank you so much for cooking with the kitchen and let me know if you guys picked up any of these merch bundles in the comments. Again, I'm super excited for all of my viewers that are going to be listening to this project for the first time and if you are, let us know in the comments what you guys think about it at the end. As always, remember to stay safe out there and always remember, it's lit. Straight up and peace.